All right, this is too quick for you again here. Uh, people have been hitting me up asking how to install patches to their games and how to FTP into their consoles. I'm going to show you how to do that uh, here. Uh, first thing you need is to obtain your console's IP address. You need to have it turned on with the Ethernet cable plugged into it and either an XX menu or freestyle dash. I'm going to go there now. I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright, um, I am in Freestyle Dash right now, and as you can see, the IP address shows up in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And then record it, write it down, whatever. And now I'm going to show you how to get it out of XX menu. When XX menu launches, hit the bumper until you see your IP address. Which is right there. Okay. Now we gotta go get our FileZilla. You can get on the internet and find a thing called FileZilla and download that to your PC and install it. I've already installed it, so I'm not gonna show you that. You should go figure that out yourself. Launch your FileZilla. Upper left hand corner hit File and Site Manager. New Site and type in Xbox. On transfer settings, click active, click the general, for login type, you want normal, user, you want Xbox, and Xbox is also the password too. Up at the top, put in your IP address to be recorded. hit connect. As you can see, I'm in the Xbox. Now, you need to navigate to where your games folder is at or wherever you had your game at. If it's on a USB, USB will be showing up here. Now, in this case, mine is on my HDB1. And by the way, if you bought a console from me and you bought a hard drive with your console, your games folder should be an HDB1. And I'm going to go into the games folder and I'm going to show you how to patch Modern Warfare 2. So we're going to go into that one right there. And now we're in the game. Now we have to get our patches. What you're going to do highlight all the patches, grab them down to the bottom empty screen or empty box and follow Zilla. Upper left hand corner hit transfer and process query. Now this box is going to pop up. It's an override box. It's telling you that you're trying to put a file in there that's already there. Which already know the file is going to be the default mp.xex. Just hit apply to current query only okay and as you can see it just transferred into the game that quick no problem now we need to put a title update in here to match it so we need to go back 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 go to hdv1 and find the cache folder now here's the situation with title updates when doing system linking you can't have Freestyle Dash running because it blocks out the system link. And Freestyle Dash will see title updates in the cache folder and in the Freestyle Dash's title update folder. But you can't launch the game from there because it blocks out system linking. So you need to launch your game from XX menu or well actually it has to be launched from XX menu, your game files game. So we have to put the title update in the cache folder because that's the only place the, the game looks for the title update is in the cache folder. So, we're in the cache folder here now. We're going to get our title update. And we're going to drag it down to the bottom, just like before. Transfer, process quee. Now this window popped up because I've already got it in there, but I'm going to put it in again for you anyways. 
Now, there's also a thing with media IDs and title updates. And we're going to get into that in the next video, but I ain't getting into it now. So anyways, we're done with FileZilla. We successfully transferred our patches to the uh, Modern Warfare 2 game. Uh, we've installed our FileZilla so we can get in and out of there, no problem. And um, we can close out FileZilla. Now we can go back to our console. And we have to be in XX Menu to launch the game because we know Freestyle Dash blocks out system linking. At any time a Freestyle Dash launches, you have to restart your console. Now I'm not going to restart mine now, but you need to because Freestyle Dash, like I said, blocks out system linking. That's your biggest problem. People don't know that the Freestyle Dash is stopping your system linking from going on. So you can't infect yourself because you're blocked. You can't even connect to the you can't link to the console. So anyways, get in the XX Menu and hit your bumper. Now if your game files are located on USB, which mine are mine are an HDD one, but anyways, you get over here at the top or left, upper right where it says HDD one or USB zero, but to navigate to the different drives you hit X and a menu screen pops up. An option screen. Now if you had a USB plugged into your console, it would show up here and you could select it. But like I said, my game folder is on my hard drive, HDD one, so I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna go down to games. Modern Warfare 2, and you're going to go find the default mp.xex. Make sure it's the mp one. And the game should start. If you got the proper title update in there, and the patches, the game should fire up with no problem. Alright, choose system link. Create game. Start game. Now different mod menus get launched different ways. This particular mod menu gets launched by hitting the knife button. And you see it work. So that's how you have to apply patches and title updates and install files over to your console. I'm gonna exit out of here real quick. Now, just to recap here, when doing infections, sys or freestyle dash can never be launched to the patches out the system engine. So you must start your console, if you buy your console from me, you need to start your console with the power button on the console. So that boots you directly into the NX dash. And if you start the console with the controller, it's going to boot freestyle dash. That's if you bought your console for me and the hard drive with it too. I'll have it all set up for you. Other than that, you should be good. Um, the next video, I'm going to show you how to get your, your media ID of your game so you can make sure you get the proper title for the game.